Hi, I'm Michael and this is California. And last week, some great news came out for people on food stamps and SNAP. The USDA announced that there will be an increase in SNAP benefits for fiscal year 2021, which will actually start later this year. This is due to the overall increase in food costs affecting everybody across the country right now. So today we are discussing how much SNAP benefits will increase for 2021 and when you can expect to see your increase for your SNAP benefits. Now this is your five minute daily dose. So let's make this quick. But before we do that, if you like this information, if you find it interesting, if you find it helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you can get updates when our newest and most informative videos become available. So every year, SNAP gets an increase in its maximum allowable benefit for households. This is because of things like overall cost of living rising, cost of food rising, and economic factors like inflation. But in 2021, it looks to be a unique year because SNAP is getting more than a double percentage to its maximum monthly benefit. And this is a bigger single year increase than it has gotten in the last 20 years. So for example, SNAP maximum benefits will increase 5%, allowing a family of four to have their maximum SNAP food benefit increase from $646 a month up to $680 a month, which is an increase of $34 per month or $384 per year. So yes, of course, this is great news. Good job to the USD for seeing a need and making an increase. But the reality is there's no way that 5% is going to be enough to cover households for the full year of 2021, especially considering the rate at which food costs are increasing now. These increases will affect households of all sizes on SNAP, but since the increase is a percentage, not everyone will get the full $34 increase monthly. So for example, for a single person that's on SNAP, the monthly benefit right now is at $194 a month. And with a 5% increase, that would mean they would only get $9.70 increased, putting their 2021 monthly benefit at $203.70. For a household of two people, the maximum SNAP benefit is $355. So with a 5% increase, they would get $17.75 more a month, putting their monthly benefit at $372.75. And then finally, for a household of four, the maximum benefit in 2020 is $646. So with that 5% increase, they get the $34 increase, putting their maximum benefit at $680 a month. So undoubtedly, this is a much needed increase at a time when food prices are skyrocketing. But a lot of food advocates are indicating that this is just barely compensating for increased food costs already on a low SNAP benefit. And even with the increase, SNAP benefits do not provide enough money for someone to buy adequate amounts of food to keep their families healthy. Even with the increased SNAP benefits, food resources are falling short of what food and anti-hunger advocates have been suggesting. One group, Feeding America, has called for a 15% increase in SNAP benefits. This will help households' food daily budget deal with the increased food costs and compensate for the potential loss of the $600 extra unemployment benefits that expired last month. At the moment, SNAP benefits are set to the lowest cost option for families' expected monthly food costs. Every month, the USDA produces a food report that shows a cost for the average calories necessary for families. Within this calculation, they have four categories that vary based on the expected necessary caloric intake. For example, there is the liberal plan, which is the most calorific, the moderate plan, which is the middle plan, the low cost plan, which is basically exactly like what it sounds like, and then the thrifty plan, which is just enough to put somebody out of the category of starvation. It'd be better just to maybe call it the hungry plan. But each of these plans has a different dollar amount that would be necessary to provide that level of calories for that family for that month. So for example, the estimated monthly cost for the liberal plan, the most calorific, is $1,352 for a family of four a month. For the low cost plan, that's $899.50 a month. Well, right now, SNAP benefits are pegged to the thrifty plan, which has the least amount of calories and is the cheapest at $680.30 a month. Overall, it doesn't seem fair that people in the wealthiest country on earth are stuck on the thrifty plan during tough times, especially considering the amount of money that we all pay in sales tax, state tax, federal tax, payroll tax. It seems ridiculous that the standard for feeding people who have been forced out of work by government lockdowns is just a few cents over the starvation levels. Yes, of course, it is good that SNAP is trying to respond to the increased food costs and really in the only way that they can. But what is really necessary is new legislation legislation that will untie their hands in the case of emergencies like a pandemic to provide hungry Americans with the amount of food benefits they and their families really need. 
This has been your five minute daily dose. And I hope that you find it interesting or helpful or at least useful. And if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you can get updates when our newest and most informative videos become available. Also, we here at California, we know health insurance. So if you have any questions about your health insurance, leave those down below. We'll be happy to make a new video or post for that as well. Now, other than that, I am Michael and this is California wishing you a happy, healthy day.